I've discovered the simplest method to help you create AI assistance by introducing Phi Data, a novel toolkit designed for building AI assistance through function calling. Function calling is a method that allows large language models to complete tasks by invoking functions and strategically selecting their next action based on the response, similar to how humans approach problem solving. Now, assistants utilize large language models to perform tasks through function calls equipped with built-in memory, knowledge, and storage capabilities, simplifying the development process. Just explore the possibilities of what you can achieve with Phi Data. So our Streamlit application, which is the chat interface, is served on localhost 8501. We have three AI apps which we are going to be demoing with today. First is our PDF Assistant. The PDF Assistant is a great AI to kind of test retrieval augmented generation and see how the AI works over a knowledge base. What we fed it, we've already loaded up a recipe book. Now you might think is if a recipe book is a great a way to test out an AI. I think it is because it's got images, it's got fancy font, it's got random information. It's got a lot of stuff which isn't really related to the recipes. So it's a great way to see if the AI can work through this problem. Let's pick up a recipe and see if the AI can match that. All right, let's just see if the AI can pick up a chicken casserole recipe for us. So we have our PDF assistant now, FireData gives you two types of assistance. One is a typical retrieval augmented generation where you, where the assistant will search the knowledge base, take the relevant information, in this case, a recipe, and stuff it in the prompt. That's one way to go about things. And another is an autonomous assistant, which is what FireData specializes in. Autonomous assistants can figure out what they need to do and call functions. So in this case, when we ask, um, say, how do I make chicken casserole. What it'll do is it'll first figure out, hey, I need to search the knowledge base for this recipe. It'll go search the knowledge base first. Then after searching the knowledge base, it'll synthesize that information and present it in a usable manner. We feel autonomous assistants are the future of AI and the next step to retrieval augmented generation. Isn't it incredible? You can utilize function calling for AI assistance, potentially enhancing problem-solving efficiency and task execution akin to human problem-solving techniques. The inclusion of built-in memory, knowledge, and storage capabilities is expected to make the development of autonomous AI applications more streamlined. We'll delve deeper into this as the video progresses, exploring the capabilities of FI data, how you can create your own AI assistant using function calling, and much more. So with that in mind, stay tuned and let's dive straight into the video. In today's video, we'll explore Phi Data, a toolkit designed for crafting AI assistance through function calling. This approach enables decision-making by activating specific actions in response to user queries, mirroring human problem-solving tactics. Here, you're leveraging large language models tasked with interpreting and responding to user inputs this facilitates the creation of systems capable of intelligently determining their next move based on function calls. Now let's examine an example where you utilize an app developed with Phi Data. This app is a hacker news AI, allowing you to post questions about various trending topics on AI. You can discuss what's currently trending or inquire about it, essentially pulling information from the hacker news AI. So in this scenario, if you talk about what's trending regarding the iPhone, and send this prompt in, it will aim to gather various kinds of information that are most relevant and accurately sourced. After submitting the prompt and waiting for the process to complete, we return to find a review of the Apple Vision Pro, a product that has been gaining significant attention lately. This isn't specifically AI technology, but it's Apple's latest tech innovation, featuring the release of new vision glasses. The new application powered by Phi Data excels at quickly fetching the latest information, demonstrating its efficiency. You might be curious about how this system operates and how one can create these AI assistants. Initially, the focus is on the AI assistant, the central element in Phi Data. It mainly interacts with users by handling various tasks and delivering outcomes. 
Here, assistants use the large language model to grasp user inquiries and craft replies according to your specifications. They input queries into the large language model, utilize its function calling feature to process them, and then return the final outcomes, which may be stored or sent directly to the user. Large language models act as the intellectual foundation equipped with the capability to comprehend natural language inputs from users. Whether processing through FI data or with assistance, they can produce suitable responses. Their ability to execute function calls is a key feature of FI data. Here, a mechanism aims to initiate particular actions or tasks within its structure. When a user sends a request or response to the assistant, it identifies and executes the pertinent functions based on the user's query. This function calling facilitates task modularization, promoting efficient problem solving and task completion within the framework. Additionally, there's a built-in memory feature that archives user queries from past interactions, effectively acting as a repository for retaining information. The highlight here is the autonomous AI application, which supports the creation of self-sufficient AI apps by offering a structure for developing intelligent assistance. These operate independently, capable of performing tasks, making decisions, and interacting with users without human intervention. In this example, a data assistant is the AI system created using FI data. Here, a user submits a query, essentially requesting information from a database. This query is then forwarded to the assistant, which processes it through various functions. It operates by displaying the tables, describing them, and running queries to obtain results through various function calls. This processed information is then relayed back to the assistant, which subsequently communicates the outcome to you. Acknowledging a personal challenge with demonstrations, the task of illustrating how to begin using this application is deferred to USB, who excels in presenting this information. What we need today is our terminal and our code editor. In our terminal after installing Phi Data, we simply run Phi Workspace Create, which gives us an option to choose from a couple of pre-built templates. We'll choose the AI app template, give it the default name, and we'll see Phi Data create a production-ready code base for us. Now, this type of code base would normally take a team weeks to build, and you get this in one command. After you have your code base ready, what we'll do is we'll run the AI locally using Docker. So let's pull up our Docker dashboard on the side and run our AI using one simple command, Phi Workspace Up. What it'll do is it'll create a database, which also has a vector database. It'll create a streamlit application for us as a chat interface to test out our AI. And then finally, it'll give us a fast API server, which will serve our AI behind REST endpoints. So most of the time, you will have a product or a front end which you'll want to integrate. This is the API you'll call. Let's press Enter and see it creating the containers we need. Now let's test the AI out. Just like that, you can run it locally on AWS and much more. I strongly advise checking out the documentation for a clearer demonstration. If you explore the Build an AI application section, you'll find a step-by-step -step guide on how to run it locally. It details how to establish your code base, set up your API keys, and the types of applications you can develop with it. You can also deploy it on AWS, where it offers various foundational elements to help you get started. This definitely provides a clearer understanding of what you can achieve with Phi Data, guiding you on how to effectively utilize it. Now we'll examine an interesting example. They've developed a demo streamlit application designed as a PDF image and website assistant. After copying the provided password, clicking enter will initiate the process, allowing us to explore its functionalities. In this scenario, the streamlit application comprises three distinct apps, the PDF assistant, which we've already seen the image assistant, allowing you to interact through images and the website assistant, enabling conversations based on website content. After selecting the image assistant, you're proceeding by entering your username and preparing to drag and drop a file for analysis. You've uploaded a math problem that involves a contest randomly selecting winners from their entry numbers, asking to pick 10 winners out of 748 entrants using a random number table provided. 
Your request to the assistant is straightforward to answer the question posed. Let's see how effectively it manages to respond to this challenge. Once the processing completes, you'll be able to review the assistant's response. If the image accurately depicts the worksheet and the contest's random selection process, and the assistant has interpreted this correctly, we'll soon find out how well it can derive an answer to the posed challenge. The worksheet features instructions numbered one to several, highlighting winners related to high achievements, with circled numbers on the table indicating the selected winners. Now let's pinpoint the winner's numbers, showcasing one of the great capabilities of this system. This method offers a straightforward approach to develop complex AI applications featuring remarkable function calling abilities, a feat accomplished using FI data. This is merely one illustration among many, and I highly recommend exploring further. The functionality extends to creating various types of assistants, such as a knowledge assistant for PDF queries, a research assistant, a data assistant, a Python assistant, a customer service assistant, and much more. This versatility and breadth of application are made possible through the project's function calling assistant capabilities. I strongly suggest checking this out, as it offers a straightforward method to develop a range of system assistants using FI data. It's designed to significantly ease the process, providing valuable assistance. I hope you found this enjoyable and valuable. Please remember to subscribe, activate notifications, like this video, and explore our previous content to stay current with the latest AI developments. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, keep spreading positivity, and I'll be back with more content very soon. Take care and peace out.